Dimensions of a supervised uh, machine learning algorithm. Let us now recapitulate and generalize. We have a sample of x which is equal to the tuple. The set of x to the t, r to the t, where t starting from 1 to n is the index. The sample is independent and, and identically distributed. That means iid. The ordering is not important and all instances are drawn from the same joint distribution, p of x r. Uh, t index is one of uh, the n instances. x to the t is the arbitrary dimensional input, and r to the t is the associated desired output. r to the t is uh, 0 or 1 for two class learning. It's a k dimensional binary vector where exactly one of uh, the dimensions is 1 and the others 0. Uh, for k greater than 2 class classification that is a k class classification and where this k is greater than 2 and is a real value in regression uh, the aim is to build a good and useful approximations to r to the t using the model g of x to the t conditioning on theta in doing this there are three decisions we must make one model we use in learning denoted as g of x conditioning on theta, where g dot is the model, x is uh, the input, and theta are the parameters. So is a model with input conditioning on parameters, where g dot defines the hypothesis class H, and uh, a particular value of theta instantiates one hypothesis little h in capital H, for example, in class learning, we have taken a rectangle as our model whose four coordinates make up theta. In linear regression, the model is the linear function of the input whose slope and intercept are the parameters learned from the data. The model inductive bias, or H, is fixed by the machine learning system designer based on his or her knowledge of the application and the hypothesis H is chosen. Parameters are tuned by a learning algorithm using the training set sampled from p of x r. 2. Loss function L dot to compute the difference between the desired output r to the t and our approximation to it, g of x to the t conditioning on theta given the current value of the parameters theta. Uh, the approximation error or loss is the sum of losses over the individual instances. Okay. Uh, the expectations of theta conditional x is equal to the summations of L of R to the T, G of x to the T conditioning on theta, where the summation is summing for O index T. In class learning, where outputs are 0 or 1, and the L dot checks uh, for equality or not. In regression, because the output is a numerical value, we have ordering information for distance, and one possibility is to use the square of the difference. 3. Optimization procedure to find theta star that minimizes the total error. Theta star is equal to the argument of min of the expectations of theta conditional x and where the arg mean the minimization is taken among all the possible theta. So that's why we call theta star where argmin returns the argument that it minimizes. In regression, we can solve uh, analytically for the optimum. With more complex models and error functions, we may need to use more complex optimization methods, for example, uh, gradient-based methods stimu uh, simulated annealing or generic algorithms. For this to work well, the following conditions should be satisfied. First, the hypothesis class of G dot should be large enough, that is, have enough capacity to include the unknown function that generated the data that is represented in R to the T in a noisy form. Second, there should be enough training data to allow us to pinpoint the correct or a good enough hypothesis from the hypothesis class. Third, we should have a good optimization method that finds the correct hypothesis given the training data. Different machine learning algorithms differ either in the models they assume, the hypothesis class or inductive bias, the loss measures they employ, 
or the optimization procedure they use. We will see many examples in the coming chapters. Notes, we should propose versions, spaces, and candidate elimination algorithms to incrementally build S energy as instances are given one by one. See Michel 1997 for a recent review. The rectangle learning is from exercise 2.4 of Michel 1997. Hirsch uh, 1990 discusses how version spaces can handle this case when instances are perturbed by small amount of noise. In one of the earliest works on machine learning, Winston 1975 proposed the idea of a near miss. A near miss is a negative example that is very much like a positive example. In our terminology, we see that a near miss would be an instance that falls in the gray area between S and G, an instance which would affect the margin and would hence be more useful for learning. Then an ordinary positive or negative example. The instances that are close to the boundary are the ones that define it or support it. Those which are surrounded by many instances with uh, the same label can be added or removed without affecting the boundary. Related to this idea is active learning where the learning algorithm can generate instances itself and ask for them to be labeled instead of uh, passively being given them. Uh, see exercise 4. VC dimension was uh, proposed by Web, Nick, and uh, Trevonankis in the early 1970s. A recent source is Webnik 1995, where he writes, Nothing is more practical than a good theory, uh, which is uh, as true in the machine learning as in any other branch of science. You should not rush to the computer. You can save yourself from hours of useless programming by some thinking, a notebook, and a pencil. You may also need an eraser. The PAC model was proposed by Valiant, 1984. The PAC analysis of learning a rectangle is from uh, Bloomer et al., 1989. A good textbook on computational learning theory covering PAC learning and VC dimension is Kearns and Vizirani, 1994.